your emergencies. WJCL Sharon Johnson joins us in studio with more details on the Jessup Police Department's church violence program. Well, a lieutenant with the department says he wants communities of worship to be ready for any kind of intruder scenario. Worship, praise, and self-defense. Today, the Jessup Police Department taught congregants at the Odom Methodist Church about preventing and preparing for the worst, church violence. I talk about ministry security teams. I talk about uh, what to do if we get a shooter in the house, how we're going to get the shooter out, and, and talk about evacuation plan, talk about code words that the pastor can give the ministry security team so they'll know to act on a threat that comes in the house. Lieutenant Greg Roser has been teaching the church violence program to houses of worship across the state for five years. This month alone, he has more than five presentations scheduled. We've had as many as 100 and something people in one place just to get this program. Is training that congregants say they don't take lightly. We needed this information so that we can go forward and being prepared for security for our small congregation. Um, we're very rural, but we cannot keep going ahead without some sort of security in our, our church. Oda Methodist Church member Judy Morris, present for the meeting today, says she thinks they'll implement the lessons as soon as possible. We're already going to have a meeting uh, this week to implement some of the things that he said, I think start a plan for, for our church, yes. The Police Department's church violence program is free to all churches. Reporting in studio tonight, Sharon Johnson, WJCL 20 News. Sharon, thank you. Two people are dead after their vehicle.